I am not expecting any problems with the syntax, so I'll just simply try to take the shortcut to run the project. Uh, if I make more changes or, or I want to be sure that everything is OK, I'll just right click and so say clean and build. So, but uh, right now I'm just running it like this. As expected, I get this prompt and now the scanner is waiting for my input. I will try one for a dog. And uh, look what just happened. So this is very, very strange. While we we're, were expecting to, to, to prompt for what's, uh, what's your pet's name, which did happen right here, uh, we actually never waited for next line. How could this be uh, happening? So instead, the behavior was even stranger. It just simply went ahead to say hello. And you can see that uh, instead of having any sort of name, apparently this is an empty string because it just prints the exclamation uh, mark uh, right uh, at, at, at the input. So obviously this program has a logic error. So we need to be able to understand what's happening. And uh, uh, the explanation for this behavior is this. Uh, like I said, that we have this combination of objects. So let's make a little bit of drawing again. We have a combination of objects. So our, um, our system in right here, I'll just kind of draw it right here like somewhere uh, so so it's an object that contains this memory buffer okay and this memory buffer begins to accommodate characters the characters that i type is one for the dog so i actually type this character one and what i do next i hit the enter key because uh, system in is designed to wait until the user hits the enter key and then the uh, it's a signal that the input is ready and now can be processed so what system in does with uh with respect to the enter key it inserts a new line character into this buffer and then tells the scanner that it's now okay to process the input so the scanner that we create as C right here, right? So we use this next next int to try to to, to process process this. The scanner without this next int part of the scanner, without a problem, extracts this value because if you remember in our output we were uh, you know we apparently I expect that it was gotten without any problem. And next int is designed uh, to uh, get the input which matches, uh, in, uh, you know, an, an, uh, some sort of input that would be uh, acceptable for the integer to be converted to an integer. So everything is fine over here. And so the, so the program continues. And the, then um, the next line here we're attempt to, to read the name, which is a string. And we, we're using this method named next line. Now, next line is designed to process all characters until it finds a new line. And so it finds new line immediately after uh, this uh, was already processed. In other words, this part of input was already processed. I'll just kind of like, you know, like, separated to a, to a previous uh, previous uh, information but now the next character to process is th this new line and next line thinks that that's exactly what the user wants to get for their input an empty line because by the way the new line itself is discarded it's just digested by next line and discarded thrown out uh, but before it, there was nothing. The input was empty, and so this name comes back with an empty string. You know that this was an empty string that uh, it was indicated when we tried to print this. So this is sort of like an expected behavior, and this is all by design. There is no problem with the next int or next line. It's just the way 
uh, this situation happens that we allowed integer to be processed by next int but then uh, the next portion that remain in the input buffer was a new line character and next line immediately thought that this is the next line an empty line with the new line character at the end so name be becomes empty so what we need to do is that we need to now discard this before we attempt to get the next line so knowing that we're doing next line um, next line right after next int we just have to say once before we proceed to to, to call next line so that if we do it right here before we get the name we will discard this character right here uh, earlier than this right so this will be already discarded and this next line will proceed to whatever the user starts typing as their next input so we will have a chance to read the name and it will then be finished with the new new line character at the end and so this will be the new input uh, which is is correct and we expect that this will be the input uh, to be populated in this name right so essentially we have this extra new line as a remnant of next int and uh, let's fix this okay so it's actually pretty simple this next line I just told you that we need this next line to put this right here and of course it looks a little strange like why would uh, without any you know without any uh, result accepted we just say next line so we say skip a new line left by next int right so we know by design that the new line character is actually ignored by next int because it's nothing to do with this integer and it just hangs there in the input buffer so we need to basically discard it so instead of saying skip we we'll just say discard right it is probably a better uh, choice to to say here so with the, with these uh, little modifications just basically just one extra step so let's do a quick test one for dog what's your pet's name Mario. okay so everything worked as expected and you can see that now uh, we're getting proper proper input in our next string after the integer so just something to remember when there's a mix between integer and uh, line inputs like this